First of all, I needed to tell you a few words about the consortium because this uh, uh, is quite a unique group of partners for the project of this type. That was a project of a company measure form, so it was not scientific research actually, but it was a company project. And it was quite unique because there were uh, a unique combination of partners. There were three big networks. A coordinating network was ELANET, it's European Local Authorities Network, and the Council of European Municipalities and Regions. Then it, there was another big network of regions, European Regional Information Society Association, and then uh, in the, the committee of advising committee, we were using also telecities. And then we had nine European regions involved, and here you could see the Czech region Visočina, which was involved through uh, Civic Association BMI. It's interesting uh, that one of the results, for example, of this cooperation in the Czech Republic, there was a creation of new organization, EPMA, which is half public, because this cooperation of Civic Association, BMI and region was quite fruitful, so that partners had decided to continue in future in a larger scale of topics. So uh, the prelude itself is now over. It's, it's finished in the year 2003. But because till the end of the project, all these partners uh, were still uh, attractive new and new um, other partners, so next 11 regions expressed their wish to join this uh, tremendous work. So actually we were continuing relations, activities uh, after the end of the project and they are still running till now and finishing at the end of this year under the frame of Prelude Challenge Greed. Speaking about clusters, I've decided to explain you this peculiar idea and practical experiment of Prelude Partners because it was quite hard and I suppose we could follow a lot of separate topics inside this cluster forming process and learn a lot. First of all, we have started with uh, setting 20 clusters of different areas. Uh, they were predominated or pre-selected by nine digital areas stated at the project. We understand cluster in this project as organized group of local actors at regional level working in the field of information society with the research and innovation plan and this is essential. We demand the plan is on table that it's created. Then based on the ICT use and carried out by one or more public-private partnerships. This is also essential understanding of cluster. Through these 20 clusters, there was a competition of most uh, successful and um, vital of them. We have created in the second half of the project nine European clusters. Looking at the matrix of creating, we could see at the bottom their prelude regions. They are local partners which were working on the basic level of creating clusters. Then there were some towns in Telecities, from Telecities network that were promoting and uh, joining our, our work. Then we had Elanet with a huge amount of municipalities and public uh, administration organizations and ERISA regions. Through all these partners we were building these clusters and it was quite hard I could tell you. So the core group in each cluster was created by businesses, first of all, which are involved uh, and uh, responsible for development and mastering of technologies. And uh, this was very different in different regions, according with local needs, demands and conditions. Then we uh, had government bodies, politicians. It was absolutely essential for the visibility of the work and for maintaining uh, real, real touch with the real life of the clusters. Then we invited and the condition was to have research institutions and organizations in a cluster which really ensure scientific competence. And uh, of course NGOs were uh, very uh, active as well and all kind of uh, non-profit uh, organizations. To this core uh, heart of local cluster we then add European partners we've got European clusters for innovation. What was the essence of our approach? The idea was to improve regional innovation capacities and uh, 
introduce a new habits in the understanding of innovation process. Then, for us, it was essential to have this so-called triple helix approach, to have different partners, different types of innovation, because normally we understand innovation only from technical point of view. But as uh, our discussions uh, have found that we need also organizational innovation and a lot of changes on the verge of social changes and even political innovation is welcomed. So we were asking for a structured plan for activities of such interactions and we were seeking for real commitment of actors so that clusters will continue their existence. The most hard was to find the balance between economical and social parts of this cluster building. Here is a, just a picture which show you that uh, we try to put quite a scientific approach in this cluster building process. So we started with a regional analysis. This analysis of the capacities in different regions uh, was uh, connected with uh, questionnaires uh, about projects existing, about key players, about uh, key facilitators in each uh, region. We've got a lot of uh, cases, certain cases, and have created a project gallery, uh, which is still possible to enter through our website. And the project gallery is not actualized anymore because we have found that it's not interesting now, but it was quite useful for the first year of running of a project. Um, and you have uh, still an example of more than 150 projects from different parts, parts of Europe. Then we pushed the clusters to make the strategy of action and uh, regional clustering was set. It. Then they start to expand and after self-analysis and self-evaluation they have become, the most vital of them have become European. Our experiences showed, uh, showed us that European regions need a lot of new impulses. During this cluster building we some of, the clusters, some of clusters used a really innovative models. For example, Eden cluster about a business introduced, and uh, it was then widely used in different other clusters, uh, a digital ecosystem model. Such examples are uh, essential for regions which probably are not so on the top of knowledge what is going on in scientific area. And uh, on the other side, we have found that in spite of big differences in levels of economic development and of understanding of things, uh, our regions are facing very comparable and probably similar problems in the area of, for example, all of them are feeling the big crisis of bureaucratic model of governance. They were asking for new demands uh, and uh, listening to citizens, which were asking for new kind of uh, services. All of them expressed the need to monitor and understand better the topic of public expenditures. Each region was asking about return of investment uh, in a different kind of projects and of course about public value of such projects. Uh, it means that economic understanding of European cooperation uh, is not uh, so strong. And then the issue of, of European integration. We have found uh, as a prelude experience that Europe needs uh, a new kind of social re-engineering, new socio-economic architects who understand the role, place and functions of ICT. And first of all, such people are quite essential for the work of public administration, uh, first of all at regional level, because they could combine these uh, competencies of ICT knowledge, innovation, and understanding of social and political needs in regions. And then uh, that effective cooperation of real uh, regions is possible using the best knowledge from virtual space. And uh, this is about this digital ecosystem model. So here you have uh, the list of uh, final nine European clusters for innovation and at the top you see those who still are very, very active. It means that they are producing uh, not only meetings, discussions and some uh, real, um, real interactions, but they are producing projects at regional level and international level. Eden Cluster is about a business and it's facilitated by northern partners from Finland and Switzerland. 
It's a C cluster. It's about transportation, and it's f mm, leaded by a German Berlin Berlin Transport Institute. It's very strong cluster. Gaudi cluster is a government. It's quite reshaping cluster now, and we'll got. Uh, some continuation in um, a new network of excellence which will start from the 1st of January and called DemoNet. And the knowledge management cluster uh, is working in different small projects. The others are uh, still uh, probably in a more preparation phase. Uh, Mobicity cluster um, was also quite successful with some project. Uh, the others are not uh, so probably strong. And for example, Three Roses cluster was dedicated to open source. And uh, the work is over with this cluster because it's split it in different kind of other activities. So uh, what is essential that all these clusters are now living by their own life. So it means after the end of a project and after two years of continuation of so-called prelude greed, these clusters have become quite self-sufficient with their development. So this is just a few words about Gaudi cluster, how it appeared and how it was working former times. Uh, you see here some partners and it's still uh, reshaping now in, in a dem democratic network. There are some words about priority areas in the government's research, uh, but I'm not sure that uh, probably I will speak deeper about this. I suggest that if somebody is interested in this particular area, you could contact me because uh, uh, our particular interest is in this area and Visuchina and that organization is working particularly more on this as a future partner for Demonet. There are a few ideas about uh, some funding in applied uh, research areas. But um, I suppose most interesting will be to put some conclusions about our experiment with cluster building. And we suppose that for uh, success of such experiment, it's essential to have a strong vision of shared uh, social, economical, political goals. Then it's essential to create a big awareness for such uh, process, creating a critical mass. Then it's essential to have knowledge uh, and participation of also citizens and key stakeholders. Then speaking about our experiment and the conclusions about using of digital business ecosystem model, we could say that this is quite uh, uh, interesting for regions uh, to experiment with the last uh, scientific research and models. And uh, they are quite uh, critical to some conclusions. And our uh, experiment shows that, for example, particularly this model, which was uh, explained, uh, for example, more I suppose in the year 2002, in some papers of European Commission representative Mr. Nahira, this model doesn't work or uh, it's not uh, enough for the regions. Regions are seeking for a wider concept and we called it societal learning approach or societal learning model. And we finished actually the project with uh, the idea to develop this uh, model in future researches. What is it all about? Uh, it's about um, how to maintain this development of regions in a way that really all partners, uh, all citizens are involved through one, two or other group. I mean that we have researchers who are putting their scientific researches working for the regional development, that we have public administration which understand the language of scientists, which is quite essential, and we have businesses which are implementing this or inventing their own things from technological point of view. And then we have citizens who are involved in supporting and participating in this process. There are probably some more information about uh, particular uh, problems which we have found. Uh, in this using of digital ecosystem model. And we are now uh, asking and seeking for this development of the line. Uh, for example, in the government cluster using this model, we state that e-government is uh, already probably the old-fashioned model that we are now seeking and speaking about e-governance and for the future about the whole concept of e-democracy. A few words at the end about CIR committee, which is the next outcome of our project. Uh, 
the idea to involve researchers and make them more work for the region uh, finished with this creating of a CIR committee, it's Committee for Science, Innovation and Research. Uh, and uh, they were offered 20 outstanding multidisciplinary researchers from each region to the committee which gathered for discussing the most urgent and interesting topics which are essential for their regional development. At the same time, they are presenting high level expertise and they are professors with very quite interesting multidisciplinary experience in science. Uh, so we started this process and uh, we have one meeting and now we are thinking how to continue because actually we have no funding for such activity. But there you have some our basic ideas how such body could assist to European regions and to Commission to understand better the needs and the ability of regions, of public administrations to absorb scientific results, to understand and to use them for their practical need. For us, it was very essential that this last point, that we will really put together political leaders and the public administration of all levels together with researchers, make them communicate together, and businesses also being present. So this, our experiment, was quite interesting. It's only started. You have here a few benefits from such a committee and as we saw in the morning, the decision of Commission to organize European Research Council is probably also expressing this need and this demand and we feel it like that in our consortium.